Hello guys, so I'm playing I'm actually playing the Devil May Cry but I'm not actually playing the Devil May Cry because I have completed this game I completed this game for real for real. I completed all the missions are all S's. Not like I done it halfway halfway done or didn't give up with it. At first, I thought I was gonna give up with Virgil, but I was like, let me just uh, do him. I was like, oh damn, he got all the those combos, the Beowulf, Yamato, Force. I think it's Force Edge, Mirage Edge, or whatever it's called. And as you can see, the as you can see, we have six difficulty levels here. So we have Human. Devil Hunter, Sun Sparta, Dante Must Die, Heaven and Hell, Heaven and Hell. So, first difficulty level called Human, which is easy. It's the beginning level. If you never played a game before, you should give it a try. And plus, the required style points for it is 4,000. If you have the Devil Hunter level, the Devil Hunter level, you just play. That's almost like. You get into experience, but you still need a little bit more practice on it, maybe. Son of Sparta is one of those, if you have played a Devil May Cry game before. But the style points for for Devil Hunter is 5,000. 5,000 style points. Which is not, which is not hard at all. 5,000. 5, the Son of Sparta is 5,500. And you go back to Dante Must Die here, it's 6,000. Which could be challenging. Because you know why it's challenging? Because enemies would do a lot more damage if they are in Devil Trigger mode. So you gotta stay away from enemies with Devil Trigger modes. When you find the boss, you cannot go all crazy in them, and it will take a while for them to die. Heaven and Hell, that is. Heaven and Hell is one of the modes that you the you as the player demon lesser demons slash bosses mini bosses could kill you in one hit hell and hell that's when the enemy can kill you in one hit but you get three gold orbs on top showing on top of the game when you start playing and if you lose all three is you start from the beginning and there's no checkpoint so like, if you hit the start, there will be no checkpoint. The checkpoint will be a uh, highlighter. It'll be a highlighter. It won't let you go to the checkpoint. And there's three different characters you can play with. You can play with Nero, Dante, and V. But when you, in the beginning of the game, you start with Nero for like several missions, maybe one through. The prologue to three. Mission four we'll probably play with V, then go back to go back to Nero. You might not play Dante until you get to mission number I wanna say like ten. That's when you can play as Dante. Then you go back to Dante, then you go back to Dante, 13, and you choose three characters. That's three characters all fight in the same vicinity. Alright, so overall, to get these S's that you need to learn how to evade, you have to capitalize on these enemies. Get to go for no damage. Which you have to do to no impossible. But the only thing the only thing that this game has is just the ranking system. The ranking system is pretty weird here. Because you have the the ranking system you have to they have they have to score in a certain way, like on mission eight with I believe with, with Don, Nero or Dante. 
Especially on 10. 10, you have to go for the no damage. That's That seems like impossible. Or you can check like YouTube videos on how to beat the no damage for a day. On uh, certain on um, the hard missions like 8, 10, 12, 15, and 18. Also, when you find a boss in hell and hell, you can't get damaged by the boss because there's no continue. Yeah, there's, so there's no continue for the boss. No continues. There's no times 1.2. It would just give you the required style points like that. Unless you get the times two, you get you get the you get the over you get the stop the the more required the overall requirements for the style points for hell and hell. But once again. Once again, this game is pretty good. It has its ups and downs. The ranking system is pretty weird. Because you got to score in a certain way. If you look up somebody's YouTube video on Mission 10. How to score like an S rank. It will show you how to see what I'm talking about. Um, oh, somebody said the ranking system is stupid and it sucks. But they should never. It, sh it just should be like it should have been like that in the game. Man. If you do enjoy this uh, explanation of how I got these essays, you could just uh, comment any questions on comment any questions on how I managed to get all these essays, s rings, or or like how long. It took to kind of beat this difficulty because it took about like how long it took like several months to beat this beat this beat this game actually so so pretty much once again you just have to be stylish don't spend the same move learn how to dodge or go for the impossible go for the no damage. Like if you get hit once, you could start. You could um, use a. I want to use a checkpoint because if you use a checkpoint. It will. It will reduce your score by. It will multiply your score by half or point eight. I think point three or whatever. You could always like, maybe. I mean, you could use a checkpoint, but you could just quit and just continue with left off and just do it from there which is a lot easier than using the checkpoint because using the checkpoint just will take you back the way you back to the way you left off at so all right guys i'm going to post this video on my youtube video later today so once again if you have any questions or concerns about how to obtain this s rank just comment on my YouTube channel and I'll try to reply back as soon as possible to those questions. Alright guys, you have a nice day and nice night.